Who didn't see this coming? Like, who didn't see this narrative being built? Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming. Nobody raised their hand. You know why? Because everybody watching this video has common sense. We knew this narrative was coming. We knew that they were going to try to blame the bad fan scores on uh, racist and sexist men. Um, we knew this was going to happen because this is what they do. So this is from Complex. Uh, misogynist swarming Captain Marvel on Rotten Tomatoes weeks before release. This is from Jose Martinez. Captain Marvel's Rotten Tomatoes page is already riddled with angry audience rhetoric for a movie that's not out until March 8th. And people who are upset about Brie Larson advocating for a more diverse film criticism community. Okay, first of all, that is not what Brie Larson is doing. Brie Larson is being racist and sexist. That is exactly what she's doing, Jose Martinez. That is what she's doing. She is being racist and she is being sexist. Um, comments include the foolish, why Marvel decided to cast a very vocal racist and sexist aimed at white males, I'll never know. Yes, yes. The ultra corny, as a white male, I don't think Brie Larson would want me watching this movie. Yes, yes. Um, and the emo, once Brie went on an anti-white male tirade, I lost interest in the movie. Yes, thank you. Whoever these people are, I like these people. Hopefully they're subscribed to the Geeks and Gamers channel because they get it. Because they have common sense. Brie Larson is a racist and a sexist. And she's proven that time and time again. Um, in an interview in twenty in March 2019, an issue of British, British Marie Claire, Claire, I guess I say, Larson spoke out at the overwhelmingly white male representation among film critics. Instead of simply running with this observation, Brie reached out to Dr. Stacy Smith of UC, uh, USC's Annenberg Inclusion Initiative. Their 2017 study revealed that 80% of film critics were men, while uh, top critics who are women of color amounting to just 2.5%, because, you know, they're actively holding down women of color to be film critics. Why don't you do a study on the NBA? Why don't you tell me about how that representation is working out? I don't really care about that, though. I don't care. I just want to see the best athletes in the world, okay? That's all I care about. I don't care about representation. <sighs> Last June, Lar Larson voiced her concerns uh, during a speech at the Women in Film Crystal Plus Lucy Awards, spotlighting how women, white males cannot always be the appropriate audience to review every single film. I don't need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. I want to know what it meant to women of color, biracial women, uh, and to teen women of color. Again, racist-ass comments. I mean, I I movies are made for everybody. And they work for some people and they don't work for others. I myself grew up watching movies like Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, Above the Rim, Juice. Listen to mu uh, music like Tupac and Dre and Snoop and Rakim and Too Short. You know? Oh, but 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 I, that music wasn't meant for me. It wasn't made for me. Uh, but I ended up enjoying it because it was awesome music. And I related to those people in some way, shape, or form. And I enjoyed it. But people like Brie Larson only see race and gender. They're obsessed with it. The Wrinkle, a Wrinkle in Time just wasn't a good fucking movie. It just wasn't a good movie. Now, I didn't watch it. It was garbage, though. Uh, if you look at all of the response, nobody liked this movie. Nobody. So, that's really... That basically, all this is is another excuse for making a bad movie. It's all about race and sexism. Uh, when the movie's bad, you just can't accept that the movie's bad. You're going to have to sit there and blame it on racism and sexism. Brie Larson is a nut job. Um, am I saying I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. Larson clarified. Oh, yes, of course, yes. You know, because all of your anti-white male comments uh, hasn't led us to believe that up to this point. <laughs> What I'm saying is, if you make a movie that's a love letter to women of color, there's an insanely low chance of a woman of color will have a chance to see your movie and review your movie. Then do the work to get into the industry. Nobody's holding anybody back, Brie Larson. You career victim, that's all you are. Um, so, oh my, oh no, 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 no. They are, re they, huh? <laughs> They're referencing down with Disney's treatment of franchises and its fanboys. That that page had like twelve followers, and you're referencing that. I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, it's over. I'm. I'm. It's over. I'm. 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 I'm done. I can't do it. I'm. 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 I'm dookooing myself for episode three. I'm just gonna dooku myself. I can't take it anymore. 
I'm, oh my, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? How did you get to this point where you're this stupid? How? I can't deal with this anymore. What is wrong with you? You're actually referencing down with Disney's treatment of fan of franchises and its fanboys. That is the biggest troll account ever. It had like 12 followers. Oh my god, and you're saying that that was the reason The Last Jedi had a bad score? What is wrong with you? How stupid are you? Oh my god, now you're, and you're reminding people what JJ said? JJ chastised those individuals who felt threatened by women. While speaking to IndieWire, Star Wars is a big galaxy, and you can sort of find almost anything you want in Star Wars, he said. If you are someone who feels threatened by women and needs to lash out against them, you can probably find an enemy in Star Wars. Why are you reminding people about that? That's not a good line. Oh! <laughs> the stupidity from these people is off the charts. Like, I'm blown away. This is the end of it right here. So he actually referenced this... <laughs> god damn it. Wow. Oh my god, man. We live in a world where evidence and facts do not apply and where a, a troll account with like 12 followers can systematically take down the biggest movie of the year. This is the world we live in with SJWs. They're crazy. So here we have them making excuses once again. Uh, love the headline. Uh, it's all about misogyny. Misogynists are swarming. So um, <laughs> I just, I, I, I can't believe that the, 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 the levels of desperation that they're going to with this Captain Marvel BS. But they're going to continue to do it. And we're going to continue to call it out. Because we know what's going on. This is such a bad situation for Marvel. And Brie Larson is a joke. My goodness. Unbelievable. You guys check out geeksandgamers.com. Make sure you share this video. Share the video. Like the video. Comment on the video. It helps the algorithm. It helps monumentally. So thank you so much for everybody that's doing that. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Uh, I'll retweet you. So any type of support, we really appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Brie Larson, you're a crazy nut job, and we do not want to see your movie because you're racist and you're sexist. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.